Welcome back to another edition of my shorts right here at the Rent and Chair Smoking a Lucky Strike. Rather a Pall Mall, because that's what we got. Oh, it's been one of those days. Between the inquiries, demands, and requests of my senior citizen mother, uh, the grand line of questioning, and uh, the great conspiracy to go poop with the bathroom door open and forget to flush, all the way down to the phone hosings and why we were out of sorts on duty last night, oh, have led me to a general state of dismay and disregard. My give a damn broke, and the switch is stuck in the off position. It does happen, you know. Uh, check my community page. There is an old film that I found kind of hilarious and relevant. And uh, it, it kind of illustrates me to this grand conspiracy that I've walked in on. Now, Mr. Bungle was a very bad young man. He didn't often comb his hair or wash his hands. He probably just shook the dew off and forgot to flush the toilet before he headed to the lunchroom with the other children. And Mr. Bungle didn't always bust his tray, but it was very important that we understand that Mr. Bungle, while he listens to noisy apartment noises, did not drink his milk. Now, I've often theorized that children were told to drink their milk because of a grand conspiracy from the milk people. While milk may be good for you, and boobs are fun, right? The love of our life doesn't always produce milk. And so we can't suck on those titties and get our milk that way. So we have to suck the milk out of a cow. Now, they came up with all kinds of radical ways to milk cow and great care and preparation to get said milk from said cow. But much like Farmer Ted, who was milking the bowls and drinking that cream, I think we know what kind of milk that is, the milk people have invaded our households and put the conspiracy in people's minds several generations back that we must have milk at every meal. Why, boys and girls, there are even some people obsessed with milk, to the point where if they do not have their milk, then they can't have their Ovaltine, and if we can't have our Ovaltine, we can't get the Depends snipers and the diaper snipers decodering in the mail, which transcribes the gibberish. And it always says, be sure to drink your Ovaltine. Hmm? And like little Ralphie said in the Christmas story, son of a bitch.